Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in this series we're creating a detailed game ready axe. In this lesson we'll be creating the metallic map and I'll be talking a bit about what that is and how you can create it. If you like what you see here then check out the description for my website and playlist section of my channel for other free courses. Or you can follow the links to my character course where you can learn to make a full game ready detailed character from scratch. So first of all what is a metallic map? Well you have two types of material, metallic and dielectric as it's known, so non-metallic. And the reason we need a metallic map is because metal reacts to light differently to dielectric materials. So if you want to do true PBR, so physically based rendering, you'll need a metallic map to identify which areas are metallic and which areas are dielectric. It's nice and easy actually. You create a black and white map where anything you paint in white has a value of 1 and therefore is metallic and anything you paint in black is dielectric and has a value of zero. So let's do this with our object. So I've got my axe low poly selected and we need to create a new metallic map for it. So I'll create a new map or a new image and I'll call it axe metallic. Now for this, there's very little point in doubling the resolution of this because it doesn't need loads of detail. It's one of those things that's either true or false, one or zero. If you've got lots of tiny rust elements, then maybe, but really I think 1024 by 1024 is absolutely fine. If you want to keep all your maps the same so you can kind of batch render them and resize them, then you might want to double this, but I don't see much point. Keep the color black, so basically everything will be non-metallic and turn off the alpha and press OK. So there's our black map and I'll maximize the screen for our shader editor and just create a space for it. So I'll move these up slightly and here's the metallic element there so we want to plug it into the metallic so shift a to add texture image texture and find your axe metallic there and if i plug it in now into the metallic there and go back to my scene not much has changed and if i zoom in on this the metallic map is all black so it's exactly the same as if it wasn't even plugged in because this metallic is set to zero if i bring this up to one it changes the look slightly especially if I bring down the roughness, you can see that sort of metallic quality. So that's what it's like when it's metal looking, and this is what it's like without metal, because this map is completely black. So anything on here that's black will be non-metal. So what we need to do is paint white onto the axe head for this map to make it metallic. And for that, I'll go to my texture painting tools. So the texture painting workspace, and let's zoom into the axe. Looks very odd at the moment. That's because we're seeing the results of the map, which is the axe metallic. That's what I had selected when I came into the texture painting workspace. And you can see over here on the texture slots, so the active tools and workspace settings, there's the axe metallic selected. So that's what I'm going to be painting when I start painting. Also, we've got our UVs over here so we can see what's going on. Now there's one weird thing. When you go into texture paint for the first time, it takes you to viewport shading which is not the best shading method, we want material preview mode. Now what I like to do with my texture painting workspace is bring out window and bring my shader editor in here. Just so I know what's going on, I'll press N to get rid of that panel. And it's pretty much the same as the UV editing space now, but we have these workspace settings for texture painting. So it brings us straight into texture painting mode, just there. So what we need to do, quite simple, we need to paint the ax head white. So I could select my brush, scroll down a bit to the white color and start painting. And you can actually see that working. And you can make your brush nice and big and paint in metal, which will work just fine, but there's a much easier way. We can go across to edit mode. So we're in edit mode now, we lose our painting settings over here, but I can deselect all with Alt A, go to face mode up here and then press L and I can select these areas which is called link select just by pressing L and it adds to your selection and we've got the axe head there. The options for select linked are down here and I'm doing it by seam and that's why it's really useful to have a seam where objects meet like this. So the axe head and the strap there. So now when I go back to texture paint mode, so up here to texture paint mode, it doesn't make any difference until I press this special button here, which is paint mask. And now this is highlighted white. And now I can paint this all in here with white or even easier, go to my fill brush and just 
tap it once. Make sure your strength is at one just here. And now it's all filled in white and you can see it in the image editor over here. So we've got the axe head is now metallic and the rest is dielectric. So once again, in this map over here, anything that's white is metal, anything that's black is dielectric. So there's our metallic map. I'll save that image, save as axe metallic, and there we have it. So that's what masks are. Anything that's white is true or one, and anything that's black is false or zero, and any gray levels in a mask will be a bit of both. Okay, so that's our metallic map. Thanks again for all your support, especially those who watch an advert or donate. It's all really appreciated. If you have any comments, then let me know below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.